Then we have this story courtesy of what is it? Uh, let me get it up on here. Is it the road? Yeah, there you go. We have the story courtesy of um a was that a p a p a p news it says a b c suspends Whoopi Goldberg over Holocaust race remarks. And this is something coming from a Euro guy that I don't necessarily get. I'm not actually. I don't really understand this whole anti-Semitism thing that exists in the US, especially from the black community towards Jewish people. It seems to be things that people don't tend to talk about too much. You seem to, you, especially in the peak of the pandemic, there's so many videos of random guys in New York beating up these Hasidic Jews as they're walking down the street and minding their own business that I just can't get my head wrapped around it because, you know, we have a few, we have a really strong Jewish community here in London, in like North London, around the Wood Green area, and, you know, whatever. You just see them you just keep it moving there's no there's no kind of a uh, feeling of wanting to chase them down the street or pull their pigtails or kick them in the back you don't really care you just keep it moving but for whatever reason in the u.s they seem to have a very visceral reaction when it comes to talking about jews and maybe it's because they feel as if like jewish people take away the light from um, African Americans, when it comes to slavery and when it comes to racism, they feel as if when you talk about Jewish people, it sometimes kind of diminishes the plight of the African American people, especially when they first came to America or they first were brought over to America on those slave ships. Maybe that's some of it, which is obviously ridiculous because essentially it's like um, oppression Olympics, right? My struggle is more important than your struggle. Yours is just white on white violence, whereas mine is black. What is it? Black on black violence? Because, you know, how did those flipping slaves get on those boats? You got to ask yourself those questions. Questions in it, <laughs> but yeah, it's ABC suspends Whoopi Goldberg over Holocaust race remarks. It says the following: yeah, Whoopi Goldberg was suspended for two weeks Tuesday as co-host of The View because of what as head of ABC News called her wrong and hurtful comments. Just think what would happen again. The woman's absolutely batshit crazy, but just think what would have happened if Meghan McCain said anything anti-Semitic on that platform. Or I know they already hated her, but just imagine if somebody with a conservative tilt decided to say something anti-semitic on the view what their response would be like or what the outrage would be like on social media because i haven't seen that much outrage i've seen people you know especially on the right trying to use it as, a, as something to a lightning rod but people on the left have been you know oddly quiet about the whole issue no one said an absolute thing but just imagine if Meghan mccain said something like that god damn it it says, um, uh, it says, while Whoopi has apologized, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. What's, what's that mean? An entire ABC news organization stands in solidarity with our Jewish colleagues, friends and family and communities. What a weird place to be. Most of those networks I'd imagine are run by people of Jewish descent because they run the entertainment industry in America. But then they're also stuck in that weird woke battle where they want to be progressive. They want to have women. They want to have minorities on TV. So you can't be seen to fire a black woman because it looks good, bad for the optics. But she also can't be seen to be on your platform clearly being anti-Semitic and basically saying that your struggle wasn't as bad as hers because it was somehow white on white violence or something. You can't be having it, right? Because then what she's going to say next? Is she going to start saying that? the holocaust wasn't real is she gonna start saying that Anne frank was a figment of our imagination or is a psyop or something how far will it go you can't be having that on your platform but then you also can't fire her because she is essentially you know what is she like the talk show version of flipping oprah god damn it she's looking like a unit though she's definitely enjoyed the pandemic like the rest of us have she's look, looking whoopie's an absolute unit now continue says my words upset so many she says which is never my intention i understand why now for that i'm deeply deeply grateful because the information i got was really helpful and helped me understand some things what information the information was that if you keep chatting this shit we're going to take away your i don't know what is how much did you get paid per episode on that show maybe 10 grand uh 20 30 50 100 you know when, when someone stre when someone threatens your paycheck and your ability to go to your country clubs you definitely are going to put your uh your uh, anti-Semitic um, hatred to one side. It continues. I misspoke. No, you didn't. Um, the flare-up over Goldsberg remarks this week highlight the enduring and complexity of race-related issues, including the widespread but strongly consent, um, contested notion that only people of colour can be victims of racism, which is absolutely nuts because they say this, right? But then they also say people of colour can't be racist, which is deadly because if you've ever spoken to you know people from central america south america and ask them opinions on their neighbors right neighboring countries what they think of them you'll be in for a very big shock like and they look the same 
Yeah, especially if they're naked eye. They look exactly the same and they have some very, very racist opinions about people that live just a few miles away from them. So to think that other people, just because they've got a little bit of a tint in their skin tone, can't be racist is ridiculous. But, you know, what do I know? It says the effects of humility. I'm suspending Whoopi Goba for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments, Goodwin said. The view brought on Jonathan Greenbelt, CEO of Anti-Defamation League. Andy Offa, it could happen here on Tuesday to discuss why her words have been hurtful. Jewish people at the moment are feeling besieged, said Green, said Green Black. Blatt, green blatt, blatt, is it blatt or blatt? The only explanation that I have for it is that there's a new definition of racism and that by we've been putting out there for public recently is defined racism. Sorry, let's say that again. The only explanation that I have for um, it is that there is a new definition of racism um, that has been put out there in the public recently that defines racism exclusively as a targeting of people of color. And obviously history teaches us otherwise. Everything about Nazi Germany and about the targeting of Jews and about the Holocaust was about race and racism. That's the unfortunate, uh, as, as, what's an unsaleable historic fact. Kenneth L. Marcus, chairman of the Louis D. Brandis Center of Human Rights Under Law, linked to Goebbels' remarks to broader misconceptions of the Holocaust, Jewish identity, and anti Semitism. In her era, she was reflecting on the misunderstanding of Jewish identity that is both widespread and dangerous, that is sometimes described as erasive um, anti Semitism. The definition of anti-semitism how many words are saying that on here um it is a notion that the jews should be viewed only as being white privileged and oppressors it defines jewish identity and involves whitewashing of the jewish history uh, marcus referred to the use of the anti-semitic stereotype about being powerful and controlling and sinister <laughs> and coupled with downplaying of denying anti semitism mate welcome to our world do you know what i mean the amount of flipping watermelon, chicken and running and athletic jokes I've had to kind of field in my day or when people are shocked and appalled that I can't rap and stuff. It's like, come on, man. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, no one can get into Whoopi Goldberg said, but I think what she's trying to say is that the Holocaust is about hatred. It's about inhumanity. It's about the, what human beings would do to one another is that that is humane. Imagine if you would have told um, Hitler whilst he was snorting speed and giving her speeches that sometime in the future, people like Wookiee Goldberg would essentially be what trying to explain his hatred in some way, shape or form. Just imagine what he would have thought if you would have told him that like in, 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 in years, you know, in years in the future, there are going to be people, you know, who you clearly would have hated that are going to be out there weirdly defending you or trying to explain away your hatred in some way, shape or form or fighting your court or fighting for you in your corner. Absolutely wild. Which also brought me on to this video that was shared on various parts of social media about this random attack that two Jewish men had to suffer from, where is this? On Holocaust Memorial Day, somewhere in North London, which again, I said to really, it's a community of you know Jewish people that live there. And again, the silence on it in terms of media regarding who the attacker was or the assailant, who clearly was black, is just frightening and goes to show that for whatever reason, people's outrage is very selective. If it happens to one minority group, it's okay. It happens to another minority group, it's the end of the world. It should just be... We should just, it, should, it should just be, like, especially in a pandemic, you would have fought because we've all had to suffer at the hands of this flipping virus, right? We've all had to suffer with these inept governments who had to suffer the elites and the rich and the famous basically telling us what to do and acting as if like they are moral arbiters and living in a gated communities, but asking, telling us, you know, how we should approach going outside and all this misinformation, loads of all this n nonsense has been going, manipulation from, you know, scientific bodies, all this nonsense, people extracting money at the stock market, crazy shit, and we're all going to pay for it at the end of the day, right? Cool. You would have thought that would have brought us all together, right? Because you would have thought, okay, cool. We are all being trod on. We are all being treated like less than. These people don't care about us. They view us as, as peons. But instead, it's actually separated us more and more, which is definitely one of the things that's disappointed me the most, I think, of, of the pandemic. I haven't been surprised by the governments basically being unwilling to relinquish control and not allowing people their freedoms or the ability to choose or the ability to say what they want. That's not surprising. But the surprising part about it is that you and I, people like that look like us or that look different or that we're on the same level economically, so, you know, societally, we haven't been able to band around and lock arm in arm and say enough is enough. We've essentially allowed ourselves to be separated even more so because what? We're all scared, really. That's what you see here. It's just scared. You know what I mean? We're all frightened because we look at those people and we think, oh, they're the ones in control. They're the powerful ones. They're the sinister ones. And you just act out. But they're not. They're just regular people like you and I trying to live their life, trying to make the best of this crappy situation that we're in. So this video is pretty tragic in that regard. But 
yeah, this kid in North London decides to just wail on on these two Jewish guys as they're leaving. I guess they're leaving their store, their home. I'm not sure what it is. They're putting the blinders down, and you know, it's crazy, crazy clip, man. Nothing gets gets said about it on the media. Or he walks past them and he kind of starts wailing on them, bang, bang, bang. They try and fight back, but you know, it's not gonna work, is it? This kid clearly is twenty to thirty years younger than them. Sprightly, bendy dude hitting them with his bare knuckles. Oh, just terrible. But again, silence from the media silence because why the assailant happens to look like me it wasn't me i promise because i'm not that skinny but it's just horrible it really really is horrible the selective outrage and again if that was the other way around there would not be a you know there would not be a pause on this issue god damn it man you actually been to bad boy for doing that but hey whoopi goldberg got told to sit on the bench whoopi goldberg got told to sit on the bench